What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using something really special. <sighs> Do I know what it is? Well, I'm sure you can already tell from the title, but BAM! The new Graveyard Girl Tarte collaboration. This is the Swamp Queen palette. Listen. First of all, before I even looked in the inside, I was dying for the packaging. It looks like real wood. This is amazing. It sticks to the whole Tarte family, but it is so bunny. Like, it, it, I just... I just smiled ear to ear when I opened this. The PR package, you guys, was genius. I mean, hi, I got a little alligator. I wanna eat him, he's so cute. Delicious tried to steal him and I was like, no. This is the cutest thing ever. And it came in, come on, alligator wrapping paper? I can't. All right, so her collaboration is this amazing palette. It has eyeshadows, it has a blush, bronzer, and a highlight. I'm like, oh. Should I show you guys? No, just kidding, but this is, I just can't stop looking at it. I'm like, oh, it's just so pretty. Okay, the reveal, bam! So good, you guys. Bunny also made two lipsticks, which, okay, now this one, when me and Bunny first met a few months ago, I was in Texas, and she picked me up, took me to the mall, and we had such a fun time, and she was wearing a lip, and I was like, Girl, what is that lipstick? And she was in the testing phases of this one, so it's so cool to see it done and on my mouth because, hi, this color is everything. This palette and the lips as a collection, they are limited edition and they will be on Tarte's website starting June 6th and then they slowly start to roll out into all the stores a few weeks later, so don't sleep on this. Today, I created this entire eye look and the lip using this collection, so I think we should um, dive right in. But before we play with this, I just wanna say that I think it is so amazing that all these YouTubers are collabing with really huge brands and it's it's just wild because I come from working at the Mac counter and back then only huge corporations would, would you know they would collab with like huge celebrities or that type of thing so the fact that all these brands are believing in youtubers and makeup artists I think is really really dope so the fact that Bunny got to do this is so just surreal and I'm so proud of her so Bunny you really killed it with this so I'm gonna dive in and let's start playing Today we're gonna start off by priming our lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I know everyone is probably like, oh my god, why are you using primer today? I'm just in a mood. I saw someone use this in a review again and I was like, I forgot I have primers, so why not use it? I like to put a lot on, why not, right? Now this one is limited edition, what is this one called? Enigma. Hi Enigma. And instead of using my fingers, I'm just gonna apply this with a brush all over the lid. And I'm gonna bring it up even to almost my eyebrow. Okay, now that the primer is settled, let's dive into the palette. Now, you guys know I love to do a really light shadow all over for my base, so I'm gonna use Big Baby with a flat synthetic brush, and I'm just gonna put it over my lids. Now, I love this shade right off the bat because it literally almost matches my skin tone, so it's gonna be a perfect base for me, and I'm just gonna drag this up and out. Okay, for my transition color, I'm gonna go right in and use Dog Man. This is such a dope, rusty, brown, like warm, like orange base. That was a long explanation, but it looks really, really pretty. So I am just gonna take a little, what is this? This is a little MAC 217, and we're just gonna go right in with this one. Now, I'm just gonna take this and blend it right into my socket. Oh, good morning. This color is, oh, so pretty. I'm really loving warm tones. I think for like 10 years, I just wore hot blue, black, silver, and glitter. So I'm kind of, I'm loving getting back into the season. Now I'm gonna take this and bring it right down to there. So we're gonna kind of line that up with my eyebrow and start blending it into that nose contour for an extreme smoky look. And I'm gonna bring this down and go a little on my lash line, not too much. So we're just kind of creating a little the eyeshadow is just hugging my entire eye. Now we're gonna go in with a little blending brush. Any eyeshadow blending brush that you love. Now we're gonna dip back into Dog Man just ever so slightly and we're just gonna drag up and that light shadow that I already applied earlier is really gonna help buff and blend this out. Obviously the brush is doing its job but this is just a little extra just a little extra precaution, and it just really helps make it look really nice. And then I'm gonna go back in one more time. You guys know, smoky eye, it's a lot of back and forth, back and forth. You wanna blend until you have carpal tunnel the next day, 
because we're not playing games today. And then you're gonna wanna repeat the same steps on the other eye and make it look identical. All right, now we're gonna go back with that same brush and I'm gonna dip into Sippy Sippy. Hi, that's a really, that's a cute shade name. I love this color, it's like a chocolatey maroonish brown. I know my, trust me, I know my color uh, explanations are ridiculous. I love it, the undertone of this is so pretty. It has like little fine sparkles of gold in it. So we're gonna dip right into her and I am going to put this in my crease so it makes it really deep set and then we're gonna drag this down a little more. So that's gonna give us the illusion of like a really deep set like full eye. Mm -mm. And notice how I'm still leaving space in there for maybe nothing, maybe color, maybe liner. I don't know what I wanna do yet, but I'm gonna just bring this in a little more. And then if you want, you can go back in with your blending brush and hit dog man and go in there and blend it out even more. It depends on how blended you wanna be, but I feel like if you're watching my channel, you wanna be blended. So let's start doing it. All right, now I took that darkness and I brought it out a little past there. And then you're gonna take this again blend it in together and just kind of flick up and out. And then we're gonna go back in with Sippy Sippy and do the same thing over here. All right, we are blended and looking smoky. So this is like a beautiful champagne gold. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm just gonna take this little MAC 242 brush. There's already glitter on this from the other day, so ignore that. That's on the other side. So we're just gonna go mm, mm. And I'm just gonna place this right in there. Oh. Come on now. This shadow is yummy. Now I was thinking about wetting the brush for like extra intensity, but it's so pretty as it is. I'm like, oh, I don't need to. Come on, amazing formula. I love an eyeshadow that doesn't fucking play games. And we're just gonna pack a little bit more on and put a lot on that inner corner. Like I want my inner corner to look extra terrestrial today. Ooh. So I'm gonna bring it all the way in to where my brow bone and my nose connect because I'm just that type of bitch today. And then we're gonna go back in with this brush one more time. And you don't have to dip into it again if you don't want to, but I'm just gonna blend out the gold and the brown a little bit so it just blends more seamlessly. Come on, seamless blend, how's your day? All right, now because you guys know I cannot live without more sparkle and gold, I'm gonna just take Sassy Bun one more time and I'm gonna put some in my inner corner and I'm actually gonna bring it down into the lower lash line. Oh, like, I cannot with this color, you guys. Hi, if anyone from Tarte is watching, I'm gonna need a sassy bun single shadow for my birthday this year. Thank you. Okay, so I don't wanna bring it too far in because I am gonna smoke out this bottom, but I think that is good enough. Now we're gonna darken and smoke out the under eye, so I'm gonna dab in a little bit with of Man Cat, and I'm gonna start that off, and I'm just gonna take this really flat synthetic brush, and I am going to just start lightly shading under my eyes, and then we're gonna blend it in with that gold. And I am gonna add in liner to my waterline. I don't know what I should do, maybe it's either black or a cream or a white, so let me just smoke out this a little bit more, and then we'll figure out the liner. All right, now that they're smoked out, I'm gonna darken them a little bit more and make them like really blend nicely. And I'm gonna make them blend out a little more, you know, just a little more smoky right now. The edges are not how I want them. So I'm just gonna use a little Morphe brush. <laughs> Hi. And we're gonna dip in with Man Cat one more time. And now this is really gonna give me that ability to like smoke it out way more dark and dramatic. I need that effortless blend. Mm -mm. Now this little detail shader brush really lets you get in there without causing a lot of fallout and it just really blends nicely. All right, now it's time to add something in my waterline and I don't know if I wanna do black and really like intensify my eyes or if I wanna do a cream liner. I wish we could do like a live stream poll right now but I'm gonna go with the cream and see what happens. So this is a ColourPop liner. These really stay good in the waterline and this is shade Honey Dude. <laughs> This shade is called Honey Dude, and I'm just gonna see how this looks in the waterline. Ooh, I love a good nude liner. And it's sometimes hard to find a pencil that will really stay and show pigment, but I love this. A nude liner looks good on anybody. I feel like it's just a different kind of look. Everyone just does black, or some people just don't do any liner at all. <gasps> Ew. 
but I think this is essential and really takes the look to a whole new level. It just went from Walmart to high fashion in 2.3 seconds. I like to really go in there so I don't have to touch up later, and these actually really stay in the waterline great, and they're at a really affordable price, so if you haven't tried ColourPop liners, I highly suggest it. But what are we missing here? I think I wanna do a little bit of a wing. Yeah, I think I wanna do a little bit of a wing, so I'm just gonna do that really quickly, and I'll be right back. Today I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is in limited edition packaging. It was on Sephora for a hot minute. I think it's so cute. And hi, liner is on fleek. Let's do some lashes. All right, now for mascara, I'm gonna use the Sicily Paris Mascara. This is the So Curly. I love this brush, it's so cute. Mm -mm. And this one quickly coats your lashes. You have to be careful because the brush is really big, but this is perfect for putting on mascara before your lashes so your lashes are black. All right, now let's do our bottom mascara. <sighs> Hold your damn breath and don't fuck this up. Look at that one lash hair, it's like sticking out and being so extra. Like, honey, don't try to steal the damn show, you're just one hair in the bunch. That is so weird, I, that's like really bothering me. My girl, there we go. For lashes today, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Style Jade. These are so pretty, and I'm gonna be using my Esquito Lash Glue, and um, let's put them on. All right, the lashes are done. Now let's do some cheek action. The thing about this palette that I love is that it has like a little contour, kind of warm bronzy moment, and then it has a blush, and then it has this blinding highlight. I swatched this on Snapchat when I first got it, and I was like, oh, I like caught my breath. I just, I had a moment. So I am gonna be dipping into this little sweet tea bronzer, and I'm just gonna be using my little NARS Kabuki brush, and I'm just gonna lightly dab in there, because I mean, hi. The pigmentation is real on this one. All right, so I'm just gonna, just a little, whoop, just barely brush it into my skin so it just kind of warms up my face a little bit, just a little bit more than it already was. Mm -hmm. All right, I like to be subtle with my blush and bronzer, so I am living for this. Now, I have been dying, dying, dying to swatch gator wings on my cheeks. Now, I swatched this on my hand, my fingers, my labia minora, but this, my cheekbones are like, if you don't put this on me right now. So, um, okay. <clears throat> like a, a fucking frog in my throat. All right, now this highlighter, you guys, I have been dying to put this on my cheeks. So, I'm just gonna use a little Morphe 510 brush, as always, and we're just gonna, this is so pigmented, I'm like, do I wanna go big and just take it there? I mean, obviously. So, I am just gonna, let's do a little, <gasps> Oh, whoa, Lord. And first of all, Gator Wings is such a cute name for a fucking highlight. I'm like, girl, don't play me, bunny. This is the cutest thing ever. And I'm sorry, this pigment is so beautiful. The pearls on this highlighter are like, oof. I feel like I just put like gold glass on my cheeks and I'm just like, hi. Oh my God, I'm just like brushing it in and it's like melting into my skin, you guys. It's like, oof. Oh my god. And you don't really need to go back and forth that much. I'm just like really putting it into my skin. Like, hi, this will become a part of my whole entire soul and life. Okay, the cheeks are done. Now, of course, we're gonna do a little Cupid's bow action. Uh-huh. If your mouth doesn't look like you just sucked off a leprechaun, add 10 more layers, please. All right, now that nose, we're just gonna take my finger and just go boop, just a little once. And by a little, I mean my entire nose. Oh my god, I can't, I just can't, I can't. I don't think I could finish this look if I didn't take my eyeshadow blending brush and go in with the highlight, just a little one-two swipe, and put this just right below the brow bone for that extra intensity. <sighs> All right, I think I am glowing enough for my neighbors to call the cops, so let's get to the lips and finish this look. All right, for lips, we're gonna be using Texas Toast. I mean, I'm sorry, this, this lip is like, perfect for this entire look. So, let's put some on. Already obsessed. Uh, uh. Ever since I first saw this one, I was dying to try it. And, uh, uh, I'm just like, I love the tone. It's like, so pretty. All right, top lip, are you ready? 
The texture of these are so like, they're really light. I, lo I just love how they feel. All right, this lip is everything. So now we're just gonna use a little setting spray. And today I'm gonna be using my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. All right, bitch, let's get to misting. Mm. All right, so I think this look is complete. It's time to just put on some hair and uh, I'll be right back. Yes, yes, skin. <sighs> All right guys, this is the final look. I'm feeling snatched. I, I'm really feeling it. This palette, like I didn't even know what to expect and it's genius. Like the formula is on point. And that highlight, I swear to God, if they don't make this a single, bunny, you gotta tell somebody because I'm like, mmm, 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 mmm. I'm just feeling really blinding right now. So this is the final look. I hope you guys loved it. I am really just having a moment right now. I love this lipstick. I'm like, mmm. Mwah. Okay, I think if Bunny ever visits California next, we're gonna have to get her in the back of a Rolls Royce. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.